Oh, hey there, Capricorn. This is your reading for May 2020 for love. So I really hope that you are doing well. And we're going to see what is coming through for your reading. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So this is one of them. This is a yin and yang bracelet. It's to do with mutual harmony, balance, peace, and also counterparts. I have so many bracelets on my Etsy store. So do check those out if you're interested. And they're meditated with, they're sage, they're handmade, they're sent out by me as well. Free international shipping. And if you'd like to see the reviews to see how other people have seen results with them, please do check out my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description box below. Alright, so Capricorn, we're going to see what's coming through here for your reading. This deck is called Albano, Albano, should I say, Wait. So I really hope that, you know, that helps you if you're wondering what this amazing deck is. It is very vibrant, it's fun, it's colourful. And... Uh, yeah, so let's get started, Capricorn. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you know, today would be really nice. I mean, if we got cards out today, that would be that would be wonderful. We have actually got cards out. We got uh, we got a bunch of them. So we got the two of cups. We got the four of Wands, you've got the Six of Swords, you've got the Empress, we've got the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Do you know, I keep seeing the Four of Wands so much lately, so much, even in um, private readings for clients as well, I just keep seeing the Four of Wands so much. This energy is, is quite spectacular because it shows a real connection to spirit guides and angels and the divine and the universe and repeating numbers. I mean, it's it's there, all right? It is really, really there. So all of these repeating numbers and all of these signs and synchronicities have so much great depth. And the thing is, you're connecting to it a lot in May. Also, you've got an angel in the Two of Cups card. The Empress is ruled by Venus. We, Venus, we know, is all about love. It's the planet, of course, <laughs> that uh, symbolizes love and it has that love element tied to it. Now, Venus goes into retrograde in May. Uh, I think it was the 13th of May, it goes into retrograde. So I thought I would, you know, of course, let you know that. But this really here showcases the sense that someone just cannot stay away from you. They, they cannot stay away from you, regardless of if Venus is going into retrograde or not. They just don't want to stay away from you. And the thing is, the Venus retrograde is not always bad. I know that it seems like, oh my gosh, you know, Venus going into retrograde, oh, it, it is not the best ideal time to be chasing someone, all right? So I'm just saying, if you are thinking of chasing someone, it, it's not the best time to do so. Let that person come to you instead. It's the best thing that you can do. So let them come to you. Try not to chase. But what I do also believe in the situation is that this person's going to come to you anyways. So the Empress here shows you being pursued. It shows that there's someone here that cannot, they literally can't live without you. Oh my God. What an energy to say that is on the, the cards. Sorry, I'm like losing my voice at the same time. That didn't really make much sense, but what a... What a phrase, right? What a phrase, what an energy that we have coming through where this person literally cannot live without you. I mean, the four of wands here shows that they, they feel that there's something so strong in terms of a happy home or stability and security in the four walls, which indicate protection. They feel like the two of you are just destined to be together. There is also attraction and chemistry, which is coming through. You've got one person red, another one in blue. When I think of red and blue, I think of the magnet and the red and blue just attracting. The two of cups here, it shows love, it shows something really, really strong, it shows a bond on such an emotional level um, that is unbreakable. And also you've got the six of swords, which showcases, you know, lots and lots of growth and it showcases um, emotionally getting yourself to a better place, but also them wanting to get themselves to a better place. There's this energy of they literally cannot live without you, like they would pack up all of their swords and just go in a direction towards you. And the Empress here really showcases just how much they love you and I feel like this Venus retrograde is actually doing something so strong it's making them feel stronger towards you because it's not always that the Venus retrograde is bad it's a little bit like comparing it to Mercury I really shouldn't but you know in Mercury retrograde yes it can really be terrible in terms of communication but it's also a time during a Mercury retrograde where so many people can come to us and communicate with us so out of the blue 
it can do the complete opposite, right? The complete opposite of what we can expect. It doesn't just ruin the communication at times, you can actually bring something even stronger. And that's what I'm seeing with Venus retrograde as well, is that it's not the ideal time for you to pursue someone, but trust me, it's showing that people are coming to you. All right, so this person definitely, specifically this person is coming to you, but you also might get during this retrograde lots of family members or people that you maybe haven't spoken to in the past coming towards you and showing you kindness, you know, showing you a bit of affection, messaging you and being nice to you, things like that. I'm just seeing it happen, all right? Um, but yeah, Empress here really shows that this person cannot live without you. They see you as a person that they're just meant to be with, they're destined to be with, and they may have some emotional challenges, some emotional struggles, but trust me, they, they are coming towards you, all right? They really are. Nine of Cups here shows that they have feelings towards you. They have a wish as well. They want to manifest that wish. The Ace of Wands here shows lots of communication, lots of interactions. I see it. I see it on the cards, all right? I, I have it. I have proof. <laughs> I have receipts. <laughs> and this is the tea. The tea is hot. Let's just say that, you know, very, very hot. Nine of Wands, see, this person is thinking so much about you, this is about wondering, pondering, contemplating, it's also about potential and progress, they want to make things work with you, they want to put two and two together, you know, they really do. Page of Cups, yeah, they really want to come forward towards you, they want to make things manifest and they want to progress things with you here as well, there's a very strong need to do so, which I'm picking up on, this is also about wanting to really open up to you as well about things, because you've got a fish in that cup and it shows opening of feelings, opening the portal of feelings. I feel like I just, it may have come across as I said porter, I meant portal, portal, but the way I say it, obviously with my voice and <laughs> it may sound completely different, I don't mean porter, I mean portal. <laughs> okay, Let's see what else is coming through, come on, come on, come on, come out, come out, wherever you are. All right. Let's take them. Bonus cards. Well, we've got one bonus card. Still, still bonus cards. So four of pentacles. Look, I'm telling you, okay, this person does not want to let you go. And what does this person in the four of pentacles do? They ain't, they ain't letting go, all right? They're not letting anything go. No. They are safe guarding everything in the situation. And you better believe it, all right? Capricorn, they are going to give you something. Look at that, all right? So Queen of Pentacles shows that they, they want to be able to give to you. Now, with your male or female, remember, I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, but look, there are feelings there. They want to be able to give something to you. They cannot live without you. They're holding on to you for dear life, okay? They're holding on to your energy. They're holding on to these pentacles, and they know that you bring so much value and so much kindness and so much love and so much joy that they don't want to let you go. And they are being emphasized by this in May especially with the Venus retrograde, you know, it's, it's not all that bad. Let them come to you, right? Page of Wands, let this person come to you. Let them pursue you, let them take things further with you as well. You've got the Two of Pentacles, all right? Two of Pentacles here shows that they're trying to become really, really balanced, they're trying to get themselves together. Again, they want to be able to have something really mutual and equal. And the Seven of Cups here shows that they're thinking about your lot, lots of dreams, signs, synchronicities, repeating numbers, they're going to be seeing it. If you see it as well, just know. Just know that this person cannot let go of you. You may even get some dreams that indicate that as well. But trust me when I say, they can't live without you. All right, they can't live without you. And of course, you're amazing. You're so giving. You're so loyal. Say that to yourself. Yeah, I am amazing. I am amazing. Comment that down below. Say, yeah, I am amazing. Because trust me, you are you are. Okay, and that is why this person cannot live without you. They are literally realising this, literally realising all of this. So that's what we've got. Yeah, a lot of um, dream signs and synchronicities are going to come through. Also for you as well, I feel, on the flip side. That will also help you to understand what is also going on, you know. Repeating numbers can also be seen quite a lot as well. So things are becoming much more balanced here and they're coming forward, really pursuing you. So Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope it gave you lots of clarity, information and knowledge. If this rings true to your situation, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets, which are on Etsy, Patreon, all that good stuff. It is down below. And I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And do take care of yourself as well. 
All right, take care, Capricorn. Bye.